Hey everyone, welcome to today's The Steady Trader video. Quick sip of water before we get serious now. If you remember last week, I mentioned that we're going to do a three part video series this week on options. And what I'm gonna do starting today is we're going to talk about the, the, the three ways in which I consider uh, legitimate options practices. So uh, number one is um, leverage, which is also the most important, most dangerous part and really why people tend to lose money trading options. The second part uh, is going to be about using options for income. That's my favorite part. And thirdly, options can also be used for hedging. All right. So in today's video, we're going to start this series and kick off and talk about leverage. Now, the main reasons why people lose money in the, in, in, in the options market if they use options for leverage is because they're taking on too much risk. Okay, that's the number one. It's, that's as simple as that. I'm going to show you guys how you can actually reduce your risk as you use options very quickly with a very simple way of doing it. There's the two step process. So let's just uh, have a look at this um, and let me show you how it works. All right. So assume you have a stock. Uh, in this case, we're looking at a stock. Uh, ticker symbol here is PYPL. Doesn't really matter what the stock is, but you know, just to give you a simple example, you can see this stock has some very simple technical uh, patterns here. And if you want to talk about this technically, you know, you could you would you could probably make the case, uh, you know, without too much fanfare, that this stock is um, potentially going to start moving to the upside. Well, if you want to do this and buy the stock, you could now buy it at. $85. So if you were to buy 100 shares, right, 100 times 85, last time I checked, that comes out to be $8,500. Now, instead of spending $8,500, an alternative is to just buy an options contract. Because options, US options in this case, will represent 100 shares of stock. So what you go ahead and do, you could go ahead and buy what's called an at the money call. So what we're looking at here is August options. And I'll talk about to you in a minute why it's important to buy August options in this case. And the August 85 strike call, you can see currently would cost is about $4.35. Let's make it a round number. Let's call it $4.30. And again, remember this is for 100 shares. So it's $430. So I could just buy, I could, Alternatively, I should say, I could buy one options contract for $430, right? So instead of spending $8,500, I can control 100 shares of stock with 430 bucks. Now that might sound like a great deal, but there's tremendous risk in this if it's not done right. Number one, the options will expire over time. So every time you, every time the stock doesn't go anywhere or, you, or if it goes against you, you're going to start losing money on this trade. So that might not seem like a big deal, but that theta, which is a lot of people talk about, is actually a bad thing. Now, the way you do this and quickly reduce your risk is two ways. Number one, you use options that expire out at least a month and a half to two months into the future. So right now, as I'm recording this, it is mid-June. And instead of buying June options or weekly options or even options expiring July, I'm not even considering any of that. I'm only even considering August options. And the reason for that is because I don't want to get killed if the stock goes dramatically against me right away. Okay, so that's step number one. Use options that expire a couple months out. I know a lot of people don't understand that concept because all people do is generally is, uh, or is focused on risk, on, on reward. So quick break here from the chart. The major reason why people lose money in the market is because they take on too much risk. It, it, that's really the bottom line there, right? They take on too much risk or if they may not stick to the rules and all, and all that kind of comes into the same, you know, sort of uh, theme of too much risk. If you're going to buy options directionally, if you buy weekly options or front month options that it's called or options that expire the, 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 this current month or the front, the front month, you're taking on too much risk, okay? Now, I know for the quick day trader or something like that may be feasible, but even there, I'm telling you, over time, you're gonna get killed every once in a while so badly that it erases a lot of gains that you've had, which is why I like to use options expiring at least a month and a half to two months out in the future. That's number one. 
Number two, what you need to do, in my opinion, is you need to do so-called option spreads. So instead of just buying the 430 strike call, let me show you. So instead of just buying the $430 uh, dollar option, which is the 85 strike call, I would probably, against that 85 strike call, sell maybe a 90 strike call. So what that does is now instead of just paying uh, $430, if I sell the 90 strike call for say $2.30, roughly speaking, let's just make it a round number, I'm only gonna end up spending $200, right? So now I'm re I've reduced my risk from 430 to $200. And so these two things, if you're gonna use options for leverage are to me are absolutely imperative. And that's why our students, our clients actually make money in the markets when they use op options as leverage is because of being conservative. Ultimately, any aggressive trading style will blow you out of the water. Those statistically, these are statistic facts. I've talked to the brokers you know, every week and we know this. So if you wanna stay in the market and actually make money and you, you wanna use options for leverage, you need to make sure you don't use front month options, don't use weekly options, use options expiring one and a half to two months out in the future, number one, and do option spreads. I hope this was helpful, folks. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. We're gonna talk about um, we're going to talk about uh, the way of using options for, uh, for hedging. Take care.